If you've lived in California for a long time, you've probably been hearing that we're due for a big one for just as long. Now, our Kelsey Thor introduces us to one contractor who's been making home earthquake safe for decades, homes earthquake safe, and he's encouraging others to do just the same. Howard Cook has been retrofitting homes in the Bay Area for decades. In that time, he's made thousands of homes better prepared for the next big earthquake, but says that's still only a drop in the bucket. I mean, we do three a week, but, you know, out of the three a week, there's, there's literally hundreds of thousands of them. Howard says so many homes in the area remain at significant risk, especially older homes. This week, Howard and his crew are retrofitting a home in Fremont that sits just a quarter of a mile from the Hayward Fault. The Hayward Fault, which is very close to here, ruptures every 143 years. And right now, we're at 155 year mark. So we're very, very close to a large earthquake. Howard says older homes like this one are at risk of collapse. The solution to fix it, though, is actually pretty simple. So what happens is in an earthquake, you know, this wall rocks back and forth and then it collapses. And so the way we prevent that from happening is we put on a piece of plywood. The technique is called a brace and bolt. It helps to better secure the house's foundation to the ground. And that way, when it tries to slide, it can't slide. It goes into the plywood, which goes this way, which goes that way, which goes into the bolts, and that's a retrofit. The whole process can cost a homeowner thousands of dollars. So to try and incentivize more homeowners to get the retrofit, the state of California is offering grants of up to $3,000 for those who qualify. Howard says many of his clients take advantage of the program, including the owner of this home. He thinks the program is great, but also thinks the state could be doing even more. They should be pinpointing them and they should do a lot more, no question about that. Howard says offering even more grants would encourage more homeowners to shore up their homes before a big quake hits. He says right now many homeowners don't call him until after. It's like when someone has a heart, you know, a heart attack, well then they change their diet and that's what's going to happen here. The most important thing Howard says is making homeowners aware these grant programs exist. I mean, the money spent for a retrofit is way worth it. And see, the Brace and Bolt program understands that. And the Federal Emergency Management Agency, who funds the Brace and Bolt program, they're aware of that. And the idea is to somehow make the public aware of that. Howard says it may not look like much, but simple retrofits like this really can help prevent hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage from a quake. He encourages all homeowners to look into what programs their home may qualify for and take advantage of them as soon as they can. Kelsey tells us the state's earthquake brace and bolt program is available in specific high-risk zip codes. Registration is open for a limited time each year. There are also additional grants available to low-income households.